First of all, hi and welcome to our webinar called Purchase Contracts Inside Expense Management version 2023-1. My name is Kim Dalskar Christensen and I'm your friendly host for this webinar. This is the agenda for today, but uh, before we get started, I would like to go over a few items so you know how to participate in today's event. As an attendee, you have joined this webinar in muted or listen only mode by default. However, you can submit text questions to today's presenter by typing in your questions within the chat section. You may send in your questions at any time during the presentation. We will collect these and answer a few ones relevant for the majority of the audience. Uh, and the rest we will answer you after the event. For those of you who are new to Continia, we are one of the top add-on software companies delivering solutions exclusively to Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. We started up in 1992, leading us to today, where we are an international company with offices uh, supported by more than 1,400 Microsoft Business Central partners throughout the world. Our solutions focus on the automation of finance processes from start to finish by using Business Central. This means we simply build our solution, solutions inside Business Central. This is due to the open architecture of Business Central that gives us the opportunity to add all our features directly into the Business Central application. This makes it very easy for users to adapt the new features and the implementation costs are extremely low, uh, extremely low compared to related standard solutions within the market. All our solutions are available both on premises and on Business Central online or cloud from Microsoft App Source. Each and every solution is delivered by our partners and we do have a wide range of different customer types, both within size and types. So no matter who you are and what you do, I'm pretty sure you will find customers much alike you. That was it from my side uh, and that was it about Continue. Now it's time for my colleague Lotte to take over and show you uh, how to handle purchase contracts inside expense management. Lotte, take it away. Thank you, Kim. Yes, I will share my screen and I will go through a few um, slides as well before I go into the solution and show you the uh, flow in real life. My name is Lotte Valgaard. I'm the solution specialist for expense management, uh, and I will be guiding you through the uh, flow for purchase contracts on expense management. So why is purchase contracts for expense management, for expense handling interesting? Well, managing contracts and subscriptions can be a complex and challenging task. That's why we've added purchase contract to expense management, which makes creating and managing purchase contracts easier and more efficient. With this new feature, you can create, track and manage purchase contracts in one place. You will be able to um, easily track contract terms, receive notifications of upcoming contracts, expirations, and store all relevant uh, documents in one secure location. So this will help you to save time and reduce the risk of errors and oversights. Then hopefully you can focus on other meaningful tasks in your company. After the presentation, uh, you will have the chance to ask questions that have arised during the uh, presentation and I am um, I'm looking forward to hear what you think. Um, I just needed to. So 
We would like with to show you how easy it can be to handle all your contract subscriptions from one place. And as a business, you may have numerous subscriptions to manage, including software licenses, newspapers, magazines, or car leases and office leases. These subscriptions are typically associated with individual employees and their corporate credit cards. So to streamline the process and prevent duplicates, utilizing a purchase contract tool can provide an overview and ensure um, efficient management of your various subscriptions. So to keep track of your purchase contract subscriptions uh, and other recurring costs, yeah, centralized management the purchase contract feature allows you to manage all your company subscription contracts in one centralized location. And this can save you time by eliminating the need to search through multiple files and emails, Excel sheets to find information about your subscriptions. And we, with the purchase contracts, there's an automated review reminder uh, so that will automatically remind you when a subscription contract is about to expire. So you can act before it lapses. This can save you time by eliminating the need to manually track contract expiration dates. And then there's an easy tracking of contract details, um, which allows you to track all the details, um, including start and end dates. Uh, renewal terms, pricing, etc. So this again, hopefully you can see that this would help you save time by uh, eliminating the need to track this information in in spreadsheet spreadsheets or other uh, documents manually. And you can create purchase contracts from directly from uh, an expense. Um, or you can um, you can create an expense or, or, or purchase contracts um, ahead of the expenses coming in, and the approval flow uh, will automatically uh, help you during the um, the process of all recurring expenses coming in. So with the purchase contract flow, there this is an example of three different roles involved with the process, the accounts payable, the contract manager, and the reviewer. And as you can see here in the flow, uh, they have different tasks during the flow. Um, and this is all set up in a uh, purchase contract. So you don't need to think about who to send it to, who should review it uh, and who should finish it that is all in the setting of the purchase contract and if it's set to auto approve the expense that is handled as well with the appro approval flow um, you can approve either in business central or continue web approval portal as with any other documents um, so you will get notified in an email containing a direct link to the um, to the contract that you need to review. Um, yes, so enough of me telling you how it works. Now is the time to show you. This is Business Central. And for those of you who are already using expense management, you might recognize the, uh, the role center for expense management. And for purchase contracts, uh, we have some new cues showing the flow for contracts. Under all, you would be able to have the overview of all your contracts. And as you can see, because this is already uh, also included in, in document capture, you can create contracts for purchase or expense. And I would like to show you how it works creating a completely new contract. So I'll create one, an expense. I'll choose a vendor name. 
and I'll use this one. And I'll put a purchaser, which is Esther. And then I'll put some cost category code. And this is buildings. Uh, and you can add other uh, relevant information here if you if you want to. And then the contract start date it uh, it whenever this is put in. And when I put in all the other information, it would automatically set the next review date, which you will see in a second. Um, you will set the invoicing period, whether it's monthly, quarterly, weekly or yearly. So for this one, put it as monthly. You can type in the uh, contract number. And you can set it to auto approve um, or not. So now this is set and you can see that now the next review date is automatically set to a year minus one month. So you have plenty of time to uh, to go and review the uh, the contract. So now I need to put in the line. So we'll have the start date. All right. And I'll put the quantity. And once I put in the unit cost, it would automatically update the yearly amount inclusive BAT. So all the information is now available here. And of course, you can attach the uh, the contract that you uh, the documentation for this contract. So that will be visible here. Um, so now I'll close this one. And now it's lying here. Uh, the next one I wanted to show you is creating a contract from an expense. So all the expenses that has been submitted by the user or waiting for the user to uh, to handle, you will see here in the role center as with the um, essential of expense management. So you see we have one pending expense user, some in approval uh, and another one open. Um, so I'll go to the the Apple one here. Um, and this is an expense waiting to be handled. Here I can go to create a purchase contract. And once I've created a template, I can pick up the template. I can pick up the vendor and then it will pick up the description. So I've already created a template which I'm picking up here. So you can create a lot of different templates depending on the different type of contracts that you have. And I'll put in the start date. And it's set to yearly and it the next renew, review date is the 1st of December 2023. And then I'll press OK. And now you see that all the information has been filled in. So all the, the information that I typed in manually previously uh, on the first one is now filled in for me. So I just need to set if this is auto approved or not. And then I would need to go to the lines. <clears throat> and now it actually picked up the line, all the information from the expense and added the information on the line here. Um, <clears throat> going back to the expense. So one thing I wanted to show you is the setup here. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so for the expense type, there's a setting that needs to be set in order to use purchase contract and to automate the flow. 
So this is the overview of all the expense types. And you see that we have a new column here for the ones you who are familiar with expense management already. So this, when once this is set to mandatory, it would automatically throw me a message saying that a contract needs to be added to the individual expense when the user have added this expense type. So now this is ready to be handled. Another example here is the, um, the LinkedIn. You see that this one is still lying with the expense user waiting for the expense user to finish this expense. Um, and it needs to, to be uh, filled in by the expense user. But if I would like to add the contract up front to speed up the process once it's being submitted by the expense user, I can do that from here. If I go to, um, yeah, and I would then add the contract at the line. And then everything is filled in. So now it still needs uh, an expense type. So let me jump to my app. So now I'm jumping as an expense user. So what is it that the, the expense user will see in the app? The expense user, the process for the expense user is exactly the same as a normal flow. So when I go into the LinkedIn, there's nothing new for me to, to type in. So I'll just pick the, uh, the expense type and I'll save this one. Now I jump back to uh, Business Central. I'll just update the system with all the new information. And if I go to expenses, you see that the um, expense here has the right expense type. And if I, sorry, I just needed to jump back to the, to the app. So when I submit this one, let's see what happens. So now this has been submitted from the app. And I'll update the page here. And I'll send this for approval. Yeah. So now you see that it's been released automatically. So when I've set the contract to approve automatically when the users submit the expense it will be have the status released ready for the uh, for the bookkeeper to um, to post it so to recap on the uh, on the setting it's the expense type that indicates whether uh, there should be a purchase contract add it to it. So if I go to expense types and get an overview of all the expense types, then you see that the purchase contract here uh, is set to optional on all of these and mandatory on hardware, LinkedIn and Slack. So you, whenever you've creating your expense type, you just simply set that and the system will automatically remind you that you need to add a purchase contract to this. With the flow of the, uh, the review, again, you see the, the full overview here of all the contracts that you have here. 
uh, and you see the next review date. But again, that would remind you um, if some of them are overdue, I would be able to see it from the queue here. And I would know, need to know that I should um, should handle this. So I can see the one which is overdue. I can see the one that has been uh, sent for review. So in the um, in the flow in the role center, you will be able to see all the actions that uh, that you would need to do. That was the walkthrough of the uh, the purchase contract for expense management. Has any questions? Come in. Uh, not for now. So I think uh, maybe uh, the audience can uh, maybe consider a bit. And while they're doing that, I can just give you a highlight if you really want to use these features inside uh, 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 with with your expense management solution. Does it have a cost uh, uh, according to the your license agreement? So uh, I will just go back to my slides and uh, go through a very short uh, walkthrough of that. Um, for, uh, as you might know, uh, we have two different types of uh, license programs and also the way we price our solutions. And for uh, customers or companies on with a on-premises NAV or Business Central license, uh, the, you, sh you should buy an additional license to uh, expense management and document capture. Uh, this license covers the use of purchase contracts both uh, for the expense management solution and the document capture solution. So you can handle both expenses and uh, invoices uh, 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 related to your purchase contract. And as you can see here is the subscription license price in euro per month. And uh, these are the prices for a purchase license uh, in euro. Uh, and uh, on top of this, uh, of course, a yearly enhancement plan fee. For uh, uh, companies with expense management using Business Central Cloud, uh, there's good news because on Business Central Cloud, uh, all the features for purchase contracts is included in the essential module, meaning that everybody is actually uh, with the newest version do have uh, access to the features. Um, so no extra uh, cost on that one. If you want to use uh, secure uh, the handling of purchase contracts, both within expenses uh, and also uh, um, invoices, then of course you also need the use of document capture. Uh, and within document capture, uh, to get access to purchase contracts, you need to add an extra feature module called purchase contracts. As you can see here, there's an extra cost related to this one. If you as a customer do have access to uh, uh, have chosen other modules as well, feature modules as well, uh, you can get up to 50% discount uh, on these prices as you see here, still in euro per month uh, based on the number of uh, documents you register per month. So that was it. Uh, I believe, Lotte, that your presentation was loud and clear because I don't see that now there came one question and maybe you can study that lot and then you can yes. maybe take over the voice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the question is, is if several types of expenses are added to the same contract number, they are added as more lines of that contract number. Uh, let me just. Yes, um, what it what the system will do is that it would recap uh, if there's an expense sent in, if it's a monthly contract, 
uh, it would recognize if there is an expense sent in for that month already, uh, and it will then cry out, give throw an error. Uh, but yes, it would um, if if let's say that this uh, contract is for several um, several months, that will be added as individual lines. If that's what you meant, Felipe. Please let me know if, if that was a clear answer. Right, thanks. Yeah, I guess that was it. So maybe a lot of you can. Uh, I will give you yes. the honor of ending up the, the webinar today. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope that you can see that this would help you um, handle all your subscriptions. Uh, we know for the fact that now when everyone is uh, subscribing things on the uh, on the company credit card, then this is a, an easy way to handle it uh, and make sure that you hold track of all the expenses linked to the subscription. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much for participating. And uh, if any questions appear, yeah, let us know. Thank you so much. Bye bye.